I visited Africa in March and April, and specifically I went to Cape Town, and then we made a journey to Johannesburg, and I haven't talked about it, so I thought I would just go over it. There's the Kirsten Bosch Botanical Gardens, which is just beautiful. It's at the base of Table Mountain, and it's just beautiful to just visit and relax. We also came across a family of guinea fowl, and I don't know how this is possible, but it just seemed like this bush was just spilling out loads of chicks. It was really random. Definitely one of the cutest things we saw in the gardens. And then of course you have Table Mountain, and that was quite an interesting climb, because uh, you have the option to actually go by cable car, but uh, me and my friends, we decided to actually climb the mountain, and we climbed up and down. And it was just beautiful. The views that you get are incredible. And especially when the table cloth or the clouds come over onto Table Mountain. Oh, it's just just beautiful. One of the craziest things I did when I was climbing up Table Top Mountain was there's this rock that's lodged between two large boulders. And there's a gap underneath. And you can actually climb over it. And I gave it a go. It was insane. And the view was beautiful, but terrifying, and amazing. It, yeah, it, a mix of emotions. It definitely happened when I was climbing up that thing. If you're scared of heights, don't do it. But if you like a thrill, hey, why not give it a go? Just be safe, obviously. But once you're at the top of the mountain, you get a beautiful view of the city. It's just amazing. And if you ever get the chance to go to South Africa, you have to go to Cape Town. Another recommendation for Cape Town is Boulders Bay or Boulders Beach. You can actually go to the beach with penguins. It's amazing. It is absolutely incredible. Really, it is. I, I got to swim with penguins. And that is something you don't get to say that often unless if you happen to live in Cape Town, which if you do, lucky. But if you don't, it's an incredible experience and just one you've got to do. <laughs> The penguins allowed me the opportunity to test out my GoPro and I can use it underwater so it'd be interesting to see what other situations I can use it in. I was planning on going cage diving with great white sharks when I went to Africa but unfortunately the shark season had not started, it was an unusually late season for them this year so I had to pass on that but I'm hoping fingers crossed that one day I'll get the opportunity to do that. Not necessarily Africa, but somewhere on this planet, I, I would really like to go cage diving with great whites. At Boulders Bay, we also came across loads of rock hyrax. And we were worried at the beginning when we came across our first one because it was just staring at us. But actually, they're really cute animals and they just like eating. Kind of reminds me of myself, if I'm honest. <laughs> but after visiting Cape Town, I got on a train to Johannesburg. And that was a very interesting journey because it was 30 hours long. I have never been on a train that long before. And you had the opportunity to sleep on this train. It was a sleeper train. But it's so cool at the same time that you get to sleep on the train. But 30 hours, that's a, that's a very long time. Yeah, I, I may have gone a bit insane, but it was, it was fun. Once in Johannesburg, though, I got to actually visit the Cradle of Humankind, which is somewhere I've always wanted to go. It's, it's my religion, in a sense, because you are going somewhere where humans evolved from. The, you know, one of the first places that humans evolved from. That's incredible. That is amazing. And I got to go to Dremelin. And there are the excavation sites of Australopithecus and other related hominids. It really was one of those moments where you kind of just have to stop and just appreciate everything that you are. Because you've actually at the place that it all began at. And that is an incredible thing. It really is. To go back to your great, 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 so on, so on, so on, grandparents, place that they've been dug up. That's that's just insane. And other insane things happened in Johannesburg, like stroking a giraffe for the first time ever. That doesn't happen often. Got a chance to do that. So that's my little experience of Cape Town and Johannesburg in South Africa.
For my next video, I plan it to be my adventure in Botswana when I went on safari. So I hope to see you then and thank you for watching.